channel my name is Sneha and in today's video I'll be showing you this glamorous look for the New Year's Eve so if you would like to get this look please keep watching let's get started so I'm starting with moisturizing my skin with Clinique moisture surge cream moisturizing is very important for a flawless base so please do not forget this step Next I am using the Farsali Unicorn Essence which gives a nice glow to my skin and it's perfect for a glam look. For primer I am using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is an amazing primer. This is on the pricier side but totally worth it as it makes my makeup last all night long which is what I need for the New Year's Eve. To hide my dark circles I will be using LA Girl Concealer in shade Ivory. This shade looks light but eventually will blend with my foundation. For foundation, I am using NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Buff. This foundation oxidizes so I use a lighter shade which matches my skin tone after some time. So if you want to use this foundation, I would recommend that you go shade lighter. To give definition to my facial features, I am now contouring my face with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Dues the Lesh. I will be contouring my cheeks, jawline and my nose.
Now I am highlighting the high points of my face using a lighter shade concealer from Too Faced in the shade Natural Beige. I will be highlighting the center of my forehead, the center of my nose, my chin and around my lips. To set my concealer, I am using the Makeup Revolution Setting Powder in the shade Medium Yellow and this powder is really good because it does not give any flashbacks in your photographs. I have also mentioned all the brushes used in the description box below. I am outlining my brows using the Sephora Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate Brown.
After outlining my eyebrows, I will be filling them using the Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse. This gives a nice finished look to my eyebrows. I am using a flat angle brush to fill in the brows. Now using a clean powder brush, I will be removing the excess powder around my eyes. Before I start my eye makeup, I am using these eye tapes from ELF which I will be applying on the corners of my eyelids. With this my eye makeup will look more defined. For eyes, I am using the You Can Be Aromas Eyeshadow Palette. This is a very good dupe for the Huda Nude Palette. I will be starting with the lighter shades and then adding darker shades. As this is a glam look, we will be adding shimmer and glitter shades as well from the same palette. Now I am using a blending brush and using a light shade to blend it in my crease.
Now I'm using a shimmery shade from the same palette and I will be using it with some setting spray so that it just gives a nice look and it just enhances the color more. I'm using the darker shade called Love Bite on the edges of my eyes so that it blends well with the shimmer shade. This eye look cannot be completed without a glitter, so I'm using the glitter shade called Bliss from the same palette. The glitter shade is easier to use with my fingers, hence I'm using the fingertips to apply the glitter shade and I will be applying it only in the center of the eyelid, not around. Now I'm using a eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. I will be now adding the Maybelline Mascara in Colossal Big Shot which is a waterproof mascara to my eyelashes. I prefer to use a waterproof mascara as it will stay all night long. Next I am using the NYX Y9 Eyeliner in the shade Black and this is also a waterproof eyeliner. I like this eyeliner because it glides very easily over my eyeshadows. With most eyeliners when we apply them over eyeshadows, the shade just changes but this one gives a very nice black shade.
As my eye makeup is done, now I'm removing the eye tapes from both the sides and then I will be fixing it with the beauty blender. For my waterline, I am using the Ellie Girl Ultimate Eyeliner in the shade Totally Teal. I'm using the shade Love Bite using a flat brush below the waterline. On top of the Love Bite shade that I used, I will be using this shimmery shade Dream World with a flat brush below my waterline. For my cheeks, I'm using my favorite Milani blush in the shade Dolce Pink.
This glam look cannot be complete without a good highlighter. So I'm using Essence Highlighter. I'm using two shades of pink from this palette on my nose, cheeks, chin and on my brow bone. I'm using a pointed brush to highlight the brow bone. I'm now blending my blush and the highlighter together because I don't like them looking as two different things and they look good better when they are blended together. For lipstick we are using this gorgeous shade from Maybelline called Plum For Me. As this is a gorgeous glam look, I thought of adding some false eyelashes as well. I just applied them offline. To finish this look, I am using NYX setting spray. This keeps my makeup intact for the entire night. enjoyed watching this video if you like my content please like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel happy holidays and happy new year bye